Hey, how's it going guys? This is Sam here with CustomPCReview.com. Here at CES 2014, we are at the A-Data Suite, and we're going to check out some cool new products they have on display here. So if you want to come in real quick, uh, the first thing they have on show here is a uh, PCIe SSD. Now this is powered by Sandforce's upcoming SF3700 uh, controller. And uh, this particular one is PCIe X4, although it's running in a X16 slot. And if you want to slide over real quick and uh, take a look here, they actually have a live benchmark running off of that test system right there with the uh, SF3700 powered SSD. And you can see there it's doing about a, uh, 1,808, uh, 1,807 megabytes a second. And this uh, test is still running right now. Uh, so it's a live, you know, demo that's going on. So very great performance uh, out of the upcoming Sandforce SSDs. Um, if you want to go back here a little bit, there's another SSD they have on display. This one is the S XPG SX. Uh, 930. It looks like it's a 2 terabyte capacity. Now this one will also be uh, based off the SF3700 controller. However, this one looks like it's a 2.5 inch SATA uh, 6 gigabit per second. So you are going to be limited off the SATA interface. However, as upcoming standards like SATA Express comes out, I'm sure uh, you know they're going to be using f uh, faster interface so we can take full advantage of the SF3700 controller. Um, as far as release dates, uh, we're still not sure. You know, they're saying sometime I I in the middle of this year. Um, however, again, we're not sure. That's all dependent on when Sandforce can get their uh, firmware ready for launch. All right, so why don't we move on over here uh, to some of the other SSDs they have on display. ADATA makes you know a, a very wide variety of SSDs, and uh, a lot of these are for system integrators, you know, industrial use. But uh, we can see over here they've got NGFF designs and a very very small form factor. Uh, this one's particular is based off the Sandforce SF2281 controller. Does about you know 80,000 IOPS, uh, 4K. Uh, 340 megabyte per second reads, 483 uh, megabyte per second writes, and uh, up to 64 gigabyte capacity. But what's really, really cool is this product right here. Now, this one is a uh, micro SSD or, I don't know, USSD, but um, this chip has the entire SSD in, you know, one single uh, little package. And this one goes up to 128 gigabytes. Um, does about 20,000 IOPS, so very, very uh, good uh, product there. All right, let's move on over there. I, I think some of the ADATA people want to uh, show us a very cool new product. So um, this one, uh, this one is actually that micro SSD that we were talking about uh, in, you know, a, a little while ago. And you can see this is on a full-size 2.5-inch PCB, and we just have one of those mounted on there and um, so you know you can see that it's a very very big uh, space saving thing and it's great for you know uh, especially guys who are integrating tablets or smartphones and and devices like that they can go ahead and install that get very fast performance on a mobile device all right so let's go ahead and move on over here uh, they got a couple sticks of DDR4 memory. This looks like it's you know used for server applications as of now, but uh, with you know upcoming uh, with the upcoming processors and things like that, you know definitely we should be seeing DDR4 uh, sometime maybe later this year or early next year. But as far as the server market is concerned, Adata already has that covered. They already have solutions in DDR4, so we should be seeing uh, more consumer-oriented models uh, come out sometime you know, in the future. Uh, they also have their XPG uh, V2 series uh, memory. And um, they, you know, originally they only had a couple colors, but now they're going with a full range of, uh, you know, colors for their design. So very good for, you know, system modders who are interested in, in pairing their, their memory to, say, the motherboard or the case or some other design. Um, ADATA has actually asked me to uh, ask you guys to comment in the uh, comment section below to see if, uh, you know, different colors are interesting for you guys. So definitely leave something in the, uh, in the comment box below and uh, we'll definitely uh, take that into mind. So uh, let's go ahead and move on to the mobile section.